Hey guys, Adam here from the Adam Bomb channel. So I've had a lot of requests to do this video, especially from those of you who live in Circle City, like me, where all of this went down a while back. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I post new videos weekly. Okay, here we go. Carolyn Ann Pelfrey cult leader, attempted murderer, and wanted fugitive. Many have wondered how someone like this, young and beautiful, with her whole life ahead of her, could have gone so wrong. No one knows when exactly she developed an interest in the occult, but it was early, in high school by some accounts. It was in college, though, that the dark arts became an obsession for her. This is also where she met a kindred spirit, Lucas DeWalt, a history major and member of the fencing team. The two became very close, so much so that when Carolyn dropped out her freshman year, Lucas did too. Together, they attempted a revival of the Boonies cult that terrorized Circle City back in the 1980s. They recruited others and started performing secret rites, but the group didn't stay together long. It's unclear what happened, but the other members left after a time, making it just Carolyn and Lucas again. However, this did not deter them. The pair broke into the old Roman Civic Theater, where the Boonies' former leader once worked as an actor. It has been theorized they undertook some kind of ritual to conjure his spirit. But the police arrived, and Lucas attacked a detective, while Carolyn escaped. Lucas was arrested, and tried for the attempted murder of a police officer. He is currently serving a 20-year sentence. Soon after this, Carolyn became involved with a motorcycle club known as the Infernal Ears, who then helped her in an attempt to assassinate Alex Heaney, the detective who had arrested Lucas. They attacked him and his partner in public, in broad daylight actually, at a local eatery called Joe's Diner. This was assumed to be revenge for the capture of Lucas. Carolyn and her new followers failed, however. In fact, several of the bikers were killed by police in a subsequent chase and shootout that began at the diner and ended down the street at Circle City Cemetery. Once again, Carolyn escaped. Details become sketchy as to what happened next, but according to an interview published on the website The Vigilante, a groundskeeper found Carolyn the following day. He took her to a church, believing she needed to be exercised. Apparently, the ceremony conducted at the theater had left Carolyn possessed not by a ghost, but by a demon. Instead of performing the exorcism, however, the church called the police and Carolyn was finally captured. She was injured in the arrest and taken to the hospital. Somehow, the groundskeeper persuaded the hospital's chaplain, a man named Arvin Reyes, to not only help him break Carolyn out on Christmas Eve, but to then perform the exorcism on her. This apparently worked and freed Carolyn of the evil spirit. She and the groundskeeper fled, but Arvin Reyes was arrested and tried for kidnapping and obstruction of justice. He too is now incarcerated. It seems everyone who came into contact with this woman ended up imprisoned or even killed, or they just vanished like she did. Along with the mysterious groundskeeper, the remaining members of the Infernal Ears Motorcycle Club have gone missing. So too has Detective Alex Haney, even his partner, Keith Sorrells, retired from the force and has become a private investigator, refusing to speak about the matter with anyone. As for Carolyn herself, it is widely assumed that she has fled the state, maybe even the country. But local sightings of her continue to this day. Is she still here? Living in secret? And if so, why? Do you think Carolyn Pelfrey is still somewhere in Circle City? Leave your answer in the comments below, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, guys. Guten Tag. You have reached the offices of the Unclosing Eye Detective Agency. My name is Frederick. How may I direct your call? Hi, yeah. Um, I'd like to speak to Detective Sorrels. This is, uh... Miss Pelfrey, of course. I recognize your voice. You do? We have spoken before, yeah? Yes. Hi. Um, is he in? He can see you now, if you wish. I'm on my way.
Is she still here? Living in secret? And if so, why? Do you think Carolyn Pelfrey is still somewhere in Circle City? Leave your answer in the comments below, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, guys. No, you're right. That... that sucks. Emily, the girl that I work with at the coffee shop, sent it to me on my lunch break. She wanted to know if I knew that I looked just like the psycho girl in the video. And what'd you say? Nothing. I can never see her again or go back to work. I'm pretty sure they'll figure it out. This is the first stable job I've had in years. You can find him, right? The guy that posted the video? And if I can... <laughs> what do you want me to do? Break his legs? I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> I just need him to take down the video. I'm trying to rebuild my life here, and I can't do that with a video that has 6,000 views. It's actually closer to seven. Not helpful. <sighs> Look, have you thought about leaving town? Just for a little bit. I'm not running, Keith. This is where I made my mess. This is where I'll clean it up. <sighs> okay. And you're sure you're never going to go back to the coffee shop again? Yeah, pretty sure. So what you're telling me is... You're in the market for a job. <laughs> what? Here? Why not? I mean, it's a perfect fit, right? I mean, we specialize in the weird crap. You have first-hand experience with the weird crap. I already come to you for tips and leads, right? And I already know your secret, so you don't have to worry about me finding out. I don't know, Keith. Look, Carolyn, I get it. Okay, I understand what you're trying to do. You've, you've done some bad stuff, and you're trying to make it right. And that's admirable. Okay, I respect that. But if you're really serious about trying to right these wrongs, this is the job for it. Okay, Carolyn? It's time to face your team. Your past. Your past! It, it's time to face your past. And... Look, I'm gonna level with you, okay? The caseload is getting out of control, okay? Right now, I've already got more than Fred and I can handle. Fred, the guy on the phone? Yeah. Accent? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where is he? Because I didn't see him when I walked in today. Right, he is here somewhere. I'll introduce you later, if you decide this is something you want to do, okay? Tell you what, how about a trial run? Okay, I give you a case to work, and if you decide this is something you can do on the daily, the job's yours. What's the case? Well, let me see. I would start you off with something easy, and oh, this might be a good one. Yeah, Bailey Berg. She owns the Curio Shop on 2nd. She got a Devil Doll on consignment. She actually had to close down for the last two weeks. I've been meaning to get back over there, but haven't had the chance yet. Honestly, it's more young person's work anyway. I've got really bad knees, and I can't crawl around on the floor. Not anymore. Devil doll? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple. Straightforward, really. Information in the case file there. Um, tell you what. Think of it as supernatural pest control. You're gonna want to put the devil doll in this. It's gonna neutralize the evil. We call it a cross box. Why? I'm so glad you asked. Okay, gotcha. Right. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty cut and dry. Oh, by the way, very important, you do not want to make physical contact with the devil doll. They can be very dangerous that way. So, when the time comes, go ahead and pick them up with these. Keith, those are fireplace tongs. They are holy fireplace tongs. Had them blessed. Of course you did. Of course I did. In this line of work, I can't afford not to. All right, so anyway. Address is in the file. There's a key in there, too. You can just let yourself in, and I will see you back here in a couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Knock him dead, kid.
I know you. You're one of ours. Not anymore. How do you do it, Keith? Dealing with all this weird stuff. Well, I'm afraid it only gets weirder from here. Carolyn Pelfrey, allow me to introduce to you our secretary, Dr. Frederick Hardesty. It will be a pleasure to work alongside you, Miss Pelfrey. This can't be the weirdest thing you've seen today, right? <laughs> so what do you say? You in? How many views does my video have? We are currently up to 9,000 and some change. Okay, I'm in. Hey, Hardesty, what do you know about this weird book with the eye on it? The Codex? I know much about that volume, Miss Pelfrey. Do you have it with you? Yeah, I figured I'd bring something to read while Keith works. Are you not there to aid him? He'll call me if he needs me. So, there's a symbol in here that I've seen before. What symbol? It's a sphere thing with windows around it. The orb. Where have you seen that before? Not sure. So what is it? Carolyn, get in here! I'm coming. The orb, Miss Pelfrey, is a key to another world.
gue mah.